Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of Geography Stream. Today we're learning about hot deserts and animal adaptations. We will be looking at three animals, camels, scorpions and the adax antelope. The aims for the lesson are to describe the animal adaptations, explain how the adaptation helps the animal to survive in the desert, and then to link our explanation to the desert climate. So if you haven't already watched my video on deserts, hot deserts, climate and soils, I recommend you watch it first before starting this lesson. For those of you who have already watched the video, it will mean that today's lesson will make a lot more sense. So let's just have a quick recap. Temperatures in the desert can reach 50 degrees in the daytime. That's really hot. Temperatures can be as low as zero degrees at nighttime and that's freezing cold. There is less than 250 millimetres of rainfall per year, so the desert is really dry. And because of that, that's why the animals need to adapt. They need to change to suit the environment that they are living in. So let's check out our first animal, the camel. First of all, camels have got really big nostrils that open and close, and this stops sand going up its nose. Due to the hot conditions, the sand is very dry, so when the wind blows, there can be sandstorms. The camel also has tough teeth and a tough tongue, which allows the animal to eat desert plants which may be prickly or tough. Due to the low rainfall and high temperatures, only a limited species of plants grow. So a camel can't be too picky about what it eats it needs to be able to eat any kind of plant, whether it's prickly or spiky, in order to survive. Now, I think camels are really beautiful animals. They have these really lovely long eyelashes, quite bushy eyebrows, and this is to shade their eyes from the sun and reduce the chance of sand being blown into the animal's eye. Also, camels have thick hair on its back and neck, and this is to reduce heat loss at night because the temperature can go below freezing but on the rest of its body it doesn't really have very much hair and this is because during the daytime it's very very hot so having short hair allows the, the heat to escape more easily here's another camel now camels have this concentrated urine and dry feces sorry guys but feces it just means poo the reason for this is it allows the camel to conserve water and it also helps the camel drink water that's got lots of salt in it. The reason for this is because water is very limited in the desert because the temperature is 50 degrees so it's constantly being evaporated so there's not much fresh water for the camel to be able to drink. Camels also have leathery knees which allow them to kneel on the hot sand they also have two-toed feet to prevent their feet sinking into the soft sand. Camels have got really long legs which give them height and they also have a long neck to allow the camel to be able to reach the leaves of trees to eat. Like we've said before, the plants are limited in the desert because there's less than 250 millimetres of rainfall per year. So that camel needs its long neck to be able to get food, to produce energy, to keep it alive, to help it to survive. Camels are camouflage. They are a sandy colour and this helps them blend in with their surroundings to protect them from predators. For this photograph, I've deliberately chosen a camel that has got two humps. And there is a common misconception, a mistake that people make when describing how camel's humps are adapted. Camel's humps do not store water. Camel's humps actually store fat and this acts as an energy source. They need to conserve energy because during drought, when there's a lack of rainfall and extremely high temperatures, there may be less food available for the camel to eat. So remember that one, camels store fat in their humps. I thought it would be really good to look at some other desert animal adaptations and I wanted to look at the scorpion. 
First of all, they are a nocturnal animal, which means they only come out at night time when the temperature is cooler. During the daytime, they burrow down into the sand to escape the heat. Scorpions also have an exoskeleton, and that means they've got this really hard outer shell, which protects them from being crushed. And this is really cool. They can go for a year without eating food. Now I can't go without eating food for about 10 minutes. So the fact that scorpions go a whole year without eating food is incredible. The reason they do this is because it's so hot in the desert, there aren't many insects for them to eat. So when they do catch an insect, they eat it, they conserve this energy, and like I've said, they can go for a year without needing to eat any more food. And this helps them to survive in this really hot climate. Another animal that I wanted to talk about was the Adax antelope. And the main reason I wanted to talk to you about this animal is because it's an endangered species. There's a likelihood that in the future, this animal could become extinct. And part of the reason for this is because of the hot and harsh conditions that the Adax antelope is living in in the desert. So this animal has adapted to suit those conditions. First of all, its skin changes colour in different seasons. So its skin can be brown in winter, and this is to help insulate the heat during those cooler temperatures, especially at night when it can be below freezing. And then the skin is white in summer, and this is to reflect the heat and to keep the animal cool. These animals also have 30 to 43 inch horns, and that's to fight off predators. And similar to the camel, they have flat hooves, to stop them sinking into the sand. So that's the end of today's geography stream. You can subscribe to my channel. You can check out my next video, Deserts Opportunities in Hot Deserts. I'll be focusing on the tar desert. But for those of you who want to stay a little bit longer, I've just got a little quick quiz. So number one, get a piece of paper, uh, you could type it on computer, you could just say it out loud. Number one, how many toes does a camel have? Number two, what do camels store in their humps? Number three, what does exoskeletal mean? Number four, what does nocturnal mean? Number five, how long are Adax antelope's horns in inches? I'll just give you a couple of minutes. You can read through the questions again. You can try and find the right answer. You can rack your brain for the answer. Okay, so the answers are coming up. Camels have two toes. Well done if you got it right. They store fat in their humps, not water. Exoskeletal means that they, an animal has got a hard outer shell, for example, the scorpion. Nocturnal means that they are awake at night. And finally, number five, Adax antelope's horns are 30 to 43 inches long. Well done guys, hope you're enjoying studying and learning with Geography Stream. See you again soon.